Vintage 2020 at Cape Montel was really exciting. We uh, refined our wine style overall and we also have really good uh, weather condition to optimize maturity of the fruits. This year we're also implementing a berry sorting at the crushing area to remove leaves, to remove uh, green berries and this way we only select the best berries to go into the ferment and give us you know, better quality wine at the end. We are also separating into the drain, the free run uh, wine, which comes straight from the tank when you drain, and also the press wine, which is the wine coming from the mark once it's pressed in a basket press. During fermentation, we uh, perform some pump overs. So the pump overs is uh, pumping the juice from the bottom to the top and uh, allow us to extract the tannin, the color, and all the um, structure we want to gain into the wine without pushing and uh, um, destroying the fruit flavor we have already in a fruit. So it's a fine balance to taste every day and adjust according to each block to each tank. For the Cabernet, a lot of research has been done the last few years um, in uh, dividing the blocks into micro-selection. All these micro-selection are followed through uh, the maturity with standard profile, with uh, um, pH, uh, acidity and sugar level. Uh, we also uh, perform some berry testing blind to uh, able to assess each block individually and this allows us when we walk through the vineyard and taste the berries to have all this information on hand and be able to match micro selection with each other in the same uh, quality level which means a balance of fruit, a balance of tannin and same type of tannin. Um, now the red have been uh, mostly pressed, they've been on skin for 20 to 25 days and they repress into oak. The Cabernet goes into 50% new French oak, mostly, and will be in bow for another 18 months. Within the press one, we'll be able to see different quality type and we'll probably add some back to the free run. It will add more flesh and mid palate weight and texture to the wine. They're also really good, but they'll be monitored differently to express and try to isolate the best in each part. So now the malolactic uh, fermentation are nearly finished and now the one is going to rest into barrel for the next uh, few months. We will check them monthly and taste them and see how they evolve and we'll start to do some uh, pre-blending tasting in the next couple of months to see how the wine evolves and to see if we need to make any adjustments into the oak profile.